Assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen. If you recall, in the last session we had been discussing the importance of why marketers have to consider uh, the cultural aspects of a country before they enter it. And in that lesson, we were talking about how many mistakes have been made where companies have entered markets without really looking at what the consumers believe or value or what are their buying behaviors. And in that one example I had given you was about the shampoo, uh, which was marketed by one of the leading companies of the world in Russia. This is after the Russian breakup had taken place and uh, it was more now like a capitalist society. So the marketers uh, from located from the Western world thought of taking their product, which was basically two in one category, just may shampoo or conditioner, ek hi botal mein hote hain. So they try and market it in um, uh, Russia. But unfortunately, they found for their dismay that jitni popularity us product ki Western world mein thi, they couldn't find it in Russia. And the logic again was that they had missed out a very important uh, consumer behavioral factor ke us zamane mein Russian ladies uh, who were more concerned of showing affluence uh, or their richness or uh, they wanted to separate themselves from the poor or lower middle class income group. So, unka interest ye tha ke unke uh, bathrooms ke andar, unke uh, is, uh, uh, living areas ke andar, they needed more stuff to show that they are very affluent in the sense that even to the extent of a shampoo, they wanted not two in one, but two separate bottles, which means shampoo separately or conditioner separately. Jabke internationally, Western world mein, uh, two in one ka jo concept tha, that was supposed to make it more convenient for a person to wash the hair rather than waste time in two different areas. Uh, it is the same thing that I had talked to you about the reason why mineral water is drunk in France as compared to in Germany and we again saw that in France it is more or less related to hygiene because in their case it was related to or linked with the tap water usage. Whereas in Germany uh, the, the frame underlying frame which was making it popular was the concept of vegetarianism. So making these two factors it became relevant to all marketers who go into the international business that they need to understand and study the cross-cultural differences. If they don't do it, they have suffered uh, a lot of losses in terms of wasted revenues and wasted efforts. Now, the problem therefore is that the marketers have two functions and we have discussed that also last time. One of the function is that they must try and understand all the cultural value system, belief systems, and so on and so forth. And then having understood what the requirements of the country is to try and change the mindset of people so that that product that they are trying to launch becomes acceptable to that country. A very good example in Pakistan has been, uh, I will name two particular areas which have become quite controversial uh, and therefore it required a number of strategies before Pakistanis were able to hit on something which was correct. Number one was polio uh, injections or polio drops that were given for children. There has been a strong resistance in the country that polio is it is, and that was the feeling and the value system that our people had because of lack of education or maybe cultural values or maybe whoever told them something, ke ye damaging hai. it uh, changes the mind or it is actually creating a different kind of a person. Halanke, the reason was that polio being a very dangerous and uh, debilitating uh, a problem for the country, particularly for the child who suffers from that polio, to unke liye strategies banani padti hai to be able to convince people uh, who may look at it very suspiciously same is the case with family planning in Pakistan. Uh, there was, I mean, we all recognize the problem 
that Pakistan may, the population is growing very rapidly uh, to the extent that it is considered that by 2025, uh, the population may be doubling in this condition. Agar ye ho, so you can see the problem of the resources uh, and the number of people to be fed and so on and so forth. So there was an attempt made by the government of Pakistan that family planning was introduced. Kiya jai, but over a period of 10 to 15 years, there has been a lot of resistance. It is only very recently that this mindset has changed. People have started recognizing the problem and have gone into a change. Another major, major issue which seems to be a problem uh, for people who actually use drugs, uh, uh, common injections lagane se AIDS ka khatra bad jata hai. But in Pakistan, because of certain value system, this uh, point was being ignored. It was actually being hidden. Like an, over a period of time through different strategies and understanding our cultural norms and value systems, we have been able to convince people ke jo drugs istemal kiya jate hain ya jisme common needles istemal ki jati hain to unko wo dangerous hain because they create a particular uh, a bimari which is considered to be the most uh, lethal kind of a sickness that is there aur agar aap gaur kare hain ya thoda sa agar aapne gaur kiya ho yaad kiya ho ke purane zamane mein injections jab lagte the to jo sui hai wo kabhi todi nahi jati thi usko dobara istemal kar lete the or usko sterilize karne ki koshish ki jati thi. Now the problem is that where they were trying to think that the needle has been sterilized, the problem did not go away and it was later on discovered that even in that stage, uh, the danger of carrying AIDS became very important. So at this point of time, nowadays, the tendency is that the needles that are once used have to be broken and even the disposable syringes that have become very common are destroyed. And the reason is, or logic I'm talking about is that before when it was tried, it was a difficulty in believing. Then, when there is a study and people understand value systems and beliefs, then to mold them becomes much more simpler and that is the kind of strategies that we are looking at. And the reason what we are saying is, because in life, there are more and more brands that are going global. And the global brands ka issue and multinational corporations ka issue is that when they are in a new country, what is it for them to do? We have already suggested that it is not the question whether they should go to a country. The question is how to do it. Now we come to the point that when research karni padegi to usme what are the barriers now according to information we know that those countries who go to a new country uh, from the developed countries mein jab hum uh, less developed economies mein dakhil hote hain to wahan problems hain misal ke taur pe cross cultural research karne wale bahut kam hain ya data jo hai wo milta nahi hai ya jo noyat hai data ki wo uh, so there is a major problem of having the correct information when we go into the new markets. Uh, like in Pakistan, if I try to do it, I have a consumer behavior ke se bahut kam information available. Hai. Haan, over the last 10 years, change has taken place even in a country like Pakistan and this change is rapidly going. For example, A.C. Nielsen, a uh, Ban al-Aqwami adara hai, which has been carrying out research internationally, ab wo Pakistan mein bhi aage. Or maine aapko, I gave you an example that at this point of time, they are actually also uh, checking out and recording and collecting data on the viewership of our television programs. That means they have set uh, sets in households, and according to my information, close to about. 5,000 households are taking part in that uh, experiment where uh, model, modules that whenever you switch on the, uh, the television, it starts recording and it also starts recording that you have switched program switch kiya or kis program se aap kis program ki taraf gaya. So this kind of information which is very, very significant for developing marketing strategies has slowly becoming available in countries like Pakistan. But at a point of time, it was very difficult. 
However, there are certain countries still where information gather karna bahut mushkil hai. When we were talking about carrying out research, remember we had discussed focus groups. Focus groups are that point of research when we do not know exactly what is going on, when we try to find what is happening, which is basically exploratory in nature. Ab misal ke taur pe, agar hum family ke andar, yani husband and wife ke relationship ke andar, ye dekhne ki koshish kare ke consumer behavior ka decision jo hai, ya consumption ka decision hai, wo kahan hoga. To normally in international markets, uh, the husband and wife would be brought together in a group of, let's say, 10 people. Usme dono couples honge, aur phir wahan ye discussion hogi. Lekin agar aap Saudi Arabia mein jayen, to this kind of a setting will become very, very difficult because wahan aadmiyon ka aur aurton ka batna is considered to be not the right frame. Not only that, even trying to decide ke jo decisions liye jate hain, misal ke taur pe, America may assume kiya jata hai ya western world mein ke agar gaadi khreedni hai a second car khreedni hai family ki to usme the husband and wife will be together to take a decision on what kind of car has to be bought or agar kahi uh, travel karna hai ya tourism ke liye kahi jana hai to again the joint decision will take place considering so many factors but agar hum uh, ek aise uh, mulk mein aaye ke jahan male domination bahut zyada hai to we will find that this kind of a decisions are not made jointly so agar ek marketer who is coming from let's say a developed country jahan ye joint decisions hote hain to wahan unka assumption ye hoga ki is mulk mein bhi ye joint decision hai jabki ye haqeeqat nahi hai aur decision jo hai wo normally male oriented hai this brings into question a number of assumptions that we take when we bring information which is available in the Western world to try and link it up with the local conditions. Another example, for example, China is considered to be a very highly educated country. Lekin, wahan, agar aap kisi ko mall pe, mera aapko bataya tha, we know that ke mall intercept is one form of doing research. Or mall intercept pe kya hota hai ke aap dukaan mein ja rahein, juhi aap dukaan se bahir aate hain, aapko rok liya jata hai, aur wahin aap se a questionnaire fill karwaya jata hai. That kind of a survey technique is known as mall intercept. Like in China mein, sadak ke upar agar aap kisi ko rok ke koi question poochhenge, to waha suspicion itna zyada hai, ke jo jawaab dene wala respondent hai, he might not even give you a single answer because he is not sure whether this question is being instigated by the uh, security agencies of the country. So they avoid it. But Marketers have to find ways and means to overcome this kind of a situation. So China, mein, uh, for example, AC Nielsen or other marketing companies, what they have done is that they give the children cameras. And its purpose is that the child will go with the family and wherever they go, they will take pictures. The pictures of what they like or what they don't like. And then these cameras are taken back from the, uh, the children and from their the researchers try to find out uh, the inclination or the belief or the value systems or whatever the consumer behavior requirements are of children. In this way, for example, if a company who is trying to enter China is not aware that China may, by government law, family is restricted to one child. And you have seen it, we have already seen it, that families where ek bachcha hoga us family ka jo behavior hai consumer behavior hai wo totally different hai from a family where there are three or four children because of the uh, the the requirement of the resources to be spread over all of these people isliye america china mein uh, it is suggested that close to 3 billion dollar are made available to children ye one children family ke andar billion dollars in bachongo diya jata hai annually to spend so this becomes a huge market for children or children toys children uh, can I make clothings everything relating to children the market of the Chinese not only in terms of number but in terms of volume is very high so given these three or four frameworks we need to be able to understand 
what is different in different countries, and from there we develop our own strategies. Now, uh, having talked about this, let me quickly recapitulate a few points related to applying the research. Uh, application of research, ek to humne baat ki thi about collecting the information and data. The second, what we are talking about is the application and the way we look at it. Uh, survey karne lage hain, misal ke taur pe. Ab survey mein, uh, wohi company, ye survey Europe mein kar chuki hai, let's say in UK. And they have used certain words or certain terminologies have been used in that survey document. अगर वही सर्वे डॉक्यूमेंट बिल्कुल उसी तरह से लाया जाए पाकिस्तान में तो देर इज अ वेरी मेजर प्रॉब्लम दैट दो वर्ड्स में नॉट इवन बी अंडरस्टूड अगर वो अंडरस्टैंडेबल नहीं है तो लॉजिक कहता है कि जो इंफॉर्मेशन जनरेट होगी वो बायस्ड होगी या उसके अंदर कोई ना कोई कॉम्प्लिकेशन होगा विच वी कैन नॉट देर फॉर यूज सेकेंडली जो मेजर इशू है मैंने आपसे हमने याद होगा आपको कि वी वन बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट सोशल सेगमेंटेशन नाउ सोशल सेगमेंटेशन में वी टॉक अबाउट थ्री सेगमेंट फाइव सेगमेंट सेवन सेगमेंट फ्रेमवर्क मिसाल के तौर पर द अपर अपर द मिडल सॉरी अपर मिडल देन मिडल लोअर मिडल एंड देन लोअर लोअर अब ये एक नॉर्मल इंटरनेशनल फ्रेमवर्क है विच इज यूज रेगुलरली लेकिन मिडल में कौन आएगा उसके क्या नाम है अर्निंग करेक्टरिस्टिक्स क्या होंगी फैमिली में वो रहते कैसे हैं ऑल दीज फैक्टर्स मे बी डिफरेंट मैंने आपको बताया था कि नॉर्मली इंटरनेशनली मिडिल इनकम के जो लोग हैं वो फैमिली रूम में टेलीविजन नहीं रखते नॉर्मली दे पोटेड इन दी लिविंग रूम्स जबकि अपर अपर जो हैं उनके बेडरूम्स में टेलीविजन पाए जाते हैं अब अगर वही कंडीशन लेकर हम पाकिस्तान आ जाए तो वी वुल नेवर बी एबल टू फाइंड अपर अपर जहां टेलीविजन सेट जो है वो किसी की फैमिली के अपने यानी के कमरों में पड़े हों ना दिस मेक्स अ बिग डिफरेंस इन हाउ टू असेस द रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ अ फैमिली पाकिस्तान में इट्स क्वाइट पॉसिबल बिकॉज ऑफ आर सोशल लाइफ एंड स्टाइल दैट वी कीप ऑल काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स इन अ प्लेस वेर वी ऑल गैदर टूगेदर बिकॉज दैट्स द कल्चरल फ्रेम इन दार्जर फैमिलीज majorly i mean living in the same uh, family uh, area which is called extended families to chahe wo families bahut high class ya not really high class but upper middle mein bhi ho to unke characteristics un families mein jahan uh, we do not live in extended families and we live in individualistic areas to usme bahut farak hoga so this is another major issue that would be coming up uh, for various reasons थर्ड uh, इशू जो सबसे बड़ा बनता है वो है कंजम्पन पैटर्न का कि हम क्यों किसी चीज को कंज्यूम करते हैं आई गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल मैकडोनल्ड इन इंटरनेशनल मार्केट इज नॉर्मली यूज फॉर पीपल हु आर इन हरी दे डू नॉट हैव टाइम टू वेस्ट सो दे गो फॉर अ क्विक लंच एंड दे जस्ट टेक अ टेक अवे एंड मूव आउट ऑफ दैट प्लेस सो मैकडोनल्ड में टेक अवे का जो कॉन्सेप्ट है वो बहुत हाई है इवन दो पीपल हु सिट देयर look for fast food ke jitni jaldi service hogi utni jaldi hum kha ke we go back to the job lekin pakistan mein that is not the conditionality pakistan mein it's a social gathering framework where the family agar koi mehman bhi aayega bahar se uh, misal ke taur pe gaon se aaye hain to wo bhi family ko leke mcdonald mein jayenge ya kfc mein jayenge because it's kind of a social gathering frame and not a uh, what do you call convenience frame so ये जो चीजें हैं ये भी फर्क होंगी सो इफ आई एज अ पार्ट ऑफ द मैकडोनल्ड अज्यूम दैट पीपल ईट ओनली इन फास्ट फूड्स बिकॉज दे आर बिजी तो आई मे बी मेकिंग अ बिग मिस्टेक एंड दैट मिस्टेक विल बी व्हाट विल काउंट अगेंस्ट माय इंटरेस्ट इसी तरह से व्हेन वी लुक एट अदर फ्रेमवर्क्स ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स दैट आर अवेलेबल एंड व्हाट आर द बेनिफिट्स दैट वी लुक फॉर वी फाइंड देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस मिसाल के तौर पर credit card a uh, credit card ka use internationally it is again a very convenient thing but in pakistan or wahan mera khayal mein every person including a laborer will have a credit card because that's the way the system has evolved lekin pakistan mein it might become a status symbol so if somebody has a card 
is considered to be of a higher symbol uh, or high symbolic nature, whereas in the other country, it is a very common uh, uh, thing that to have happened. If you look at uh, other decision-making constituents of a family, which we have already discussed and I told you about, uh, let's say, uh, buying a car. In Pakistan, it's totally a man or a family heads decision, whereas in the Western world, it might be a joint decision. And if you recall uh, an example that I'd given you where research was done, or uh, this was a confusion within a, a major developed country. For example, when they asked them, a hotel chain that was tourist inns developed, and they wanted to put tourist inns all along the country. So when they asked this in a focus group, mein, like I told you, the focus group was below, uh, uh, composed of couples. So they asked which decision is going to be when you are traveling from one city to the other city, के रात कहाँ ठहरेंगे और खाना कहाँ खाएंगे during the while you are traveling तो most of the time in the focus group the information that was generated was कि ये जो driver है या जो husband है वो ये decision लेता है so keeping that in mind obviously research requires like I've already told you that you don't just look at the face factual information given to you you try and investigate a little bit more अब जब उन्होंने इन्वेस्टिगेशन कैसे की कि कुछ कपल्स से 15 टू 20 उन्होंने कहा कि हम आपकी गाड़ियों में कैमरे लगा देंगे एंड वी विल रिकॉर्ड ऑल योर ट्रिप्स सो इट बिकेम क्वाइट नॉर्मल क्योंकि कैमरे लगे हुए थे ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम द फैमिली फॉरगॉट के कैमरा है बट द रिकॉर्डिंग वाज टेकिंग प्लेस एंड इट वाज डिस्कवर्ड दैट ऑल अलोंग द रूट व्हेन पीपल वर ट्रैवलिंग द डिसीजन व्हिच इन टू स्टे uh, when I'm talking about in is that you travel and then you want to stop somewhere over and you start again in the next morning, all the decisions were made by the women, that is, the lady. Or khana kahan khana hai, this decision was again taken by the lady and it was not the man's decision, even though the information was given totally differently. Ab wahan research ki gai, the women were the decision makers so far as where you stop, when to stop, and where to eat. Ab yehi decision, agar hum us assumption ko leke Pakistan mein aajay, to it could be possible that we may be making a big mistake. So we need to be able to make sure that we are very correct in how we will analyze the market conditions and then proceed from there. Last and final, I've already told you ke research conditions ya expertise jo available hai, us mein bohat problem hai. So I've already mentioned to you ke uh, when we segments, banate hai, we need some clustering techniques where we try and homogenize, homogenize the whole system uh, to be able to determine what are the factors which are critical. We need to carry out factor analysis. But how much knowledge available in a company mein becomes a very strong question mark. And that's why we find that there are a number of issues that come out of it. Now, after talking about the research framework, Let's move in towards the strategic uh, approach. A strategic approach, international marketing or international multinational corporations ke liye ek bohat common problem hai. Wo ye hai ke should they adopt a globalized uh, strategy or should the strategy be totally localized? Or there should be a mix of the two. Maine aapko bataya tha ke there is a new word that has been introduced in the uh, the marketing, international marketing concept, which is called global, which is global, but operate local. So a combination of the two has been brought into position. Or iski dono ki piche, jo vajuhat hai, wo badi simple hai. Kai researchers ka ye conceptualization hai, ke dunia mein cultural convergence is taking place. That means people are tending to behave more or less in the same form. Or is hawale se, I gave you an example of the teen age market. Ab jo teen age market hai wo internationally uh, is becoming quite knowledgeable about high tech items. And since they have internet available and they are more or less uh, people who constantly browse the internet. So unki jo knowledge hai ya unke jo cultural frames hai ya value systems hai, they have been pushed to converge toward a particular area. Isi tarhaan se, when we look at uh, the foreign media, 
the international movies that are coming in, which is one frame of bringing cultures into another country. So we see that some things are converging. But on the other side, we also have a very strong school of thought, which suggests that there is no cultural convergence. Actually, divergence is taking place. Or those issues that we are noting in today's time, especially when we are talking about the face coverage of the burqa, ویل جو ہم پہنتے ہیں یا جو بھی فیس کوریج ہے اس کے اوپر جو ایشیوز کریٹ ہو رہے ہیں انٹرناشنل بیزنس مارکٹس کے اندر وہ انڈیکیٹر ہیں کہ دی ڈاوورجنس is still going on اب سوال یہ پیدا ہوتا ہے کہ do we go for a global brand اور a national brand دونوں میں ایک بڑی سمپل سی چیز ہے national brand shows what we are ٹھیک ہے that is what it portrays it portrays کہ ہم جو ہیں وہ ہمارا نیشنل برینڈ کہتا ہے جب گلوبل برینڈ آتا ہے تو that suggests what we want to be so when we adopt a global brand we are actually adopting something which we want to be but if we constantly adopt a national brand we are saying this is what we are so this distinction has to be looked at in a very important framework اسی میں پیکجنگ کا کلرز کا اور بہت سی ایشیوز ہیں جو is mamle may becomes very critical and we have to constantly think about ways and means to negotiate with this complex system a misal ke taur pe philip pathic philip pathic a ghari hai jo sirf very high elite jo log hai wo kharitte hai it's not very cheap i mean it's something like four thousand dollars or five thousand dollars ki wo ghari hai because it's considered to be a jewelry watch اب انہوں نے کیا کیا ہے they have tried to mix up the two things by what that their advertising communication کا جو message ہے وہ ایک ہی ہے لیکن انہوں نے کیا کیا for various countries انہوں نے local language کو استعمال کیا ہے اب ایک بڑی important چیز ہمیں نظر آتی ہے اور وہ یہ ہے کہ جو high end اور elite class ہے کسی بھی ملک کے اندر وہاں انگلیش وڈ بی ایک کومن لینگویج that is the assumption that is the assumption that we make that all elite class from any country would be speaking انگلیش because we know کہ تقریباً 68 to 70 percent of the world is now does recognize انگلیش as the international language لیکن to make that product more familiar to the local entity they have tried to use the local language uh, instead of the English language. So the design is the same, the model is the same, the message is the same, but it has been worded in the language of the country. This tries to promote a kind of familiarity and relevance, or uska maksud or kushniya, but they try to be a global brand. So we now have a lot of issues in really whether we want to be a global brand or should we be a local brand? In this example, may we also need to know that there are large companies who are really considered to be known as owners of global brands. For example, Unilever is one company which has global branding strategy. Or in that case, if you look at it, P&G is also the size of the same size company. But people assume that it is the same size. I mean, people tend to assume that P&G is a, a globalized branding company. But حقیقت میں ان کے صرف تین برانڈز ایسے ہیں جن کا درجہ جو ہے وہ گلوبل کے مقابلے پہ ہے. جبکہ یونیلیور کے جتنے بھی برانڈنگ سٹریٹیجیز ہیں وہ گلوبلائزد ہیں. آپ کو اگزامپل دوں. A very simple example is their anti-dandruff shampoo. اب اس کا اگر آپ موڈل دیکھیں یہ یونیلیور کا پروڈکٹ ہے. تو اس کا موڈل دیکھیں تو اس کے اوپر جو موڈل ہے وہ رونالڈو ہے. And Ronaldo is a Portuguese uh, number one football player. So they are using a global uh, celebrity to be able to promote their brand. Compare that with PNG brand of uh, Head & Shoulder. Now Head & Shoulder, even though it's a global brand, but in Pakistan, Shahid Afridi is their model and they promote it promote karta. This is a very simple example of how global brands uh, are, are on one side and how other companies tend to try and bring in localized content for their global 
products. Situation or this may, like I told you, there is a number of benefits into it. There are a number of uh, negatives into it. Simple example, Ronaldo ka jo image hai, agar recognized hai internationally, aur log usko pehchante hai, to uska istamal becomes very logical because it creates economies of scale. And chunke ye football, FIFA football uh, international jo matches ho rahe the, to uski link se, Ronaldo became an important model and it, he is recognized around the world. But PNG me local market ke under shahid afridi ko istamal kiya gaya and it gives you a very strong connotation. So keeping this in mind, we try and see ke kaun si companies aisi hai who are really globalizing their brands and kaun si aisi hai jo apne brands ko localize karne ki koshish karti hai. I gave you an example like PNG. PNG ke teen brands are considered to be globalized. Number one is their female hygiene ka ek product hai, always ya whisper. That is given a, a, a connotation of a worldwide global brand or unka jo messaging hai, unka jo kuch bhi hai, wo totally global hai. Uh, second is their Pantene, which is again a kind of a global brand and unka andar jo modeling ki conditionalities hai, wo tagriban international models istamal hote hai. But Unilever is considered to be the uh, company, or like you say, Gillette. If you look at it, Gillette's slogan is uh, the best a man can get. Now, its model is again Beckham. Hai. Beckham, uh, the football player from the UK, uh, obviously is recognized in America because he's been playing club games there. So, companies tend to apply these concepts around the world. One company which is now trying to push itself from a local framework to a global framework is Frito-Lay, which is the company which is owned by Pepsi-Cola. Or you have seen in Pakistan, maybe, now Lay's jo hai, jo potato chips hai, uh, wo takriban, uh, is more or less known in the same context as it is known in the international world. That's why they have made strategically jo apne various products se, uh, jo mukhtalif companies khareedi hui thi jahan potato chips bante the to unhone un sab ko ab ek single frame pe convert kar diya hai jiske naam se wo lays ke naam se chalte hain aur uske muqable mein png ka product hai pringle aur pringle ka jo globalized concept hai wo duniya mein ek hi hai usme jo uska jo symbol hai wo agar aapne kabhi pringle ka box dekha ho us box ke upar uh, Gold shakal mein ek admi jiski mooche uh, badi tani hui hai. That is the symbol that they have used around the world and it is recognized as a very important global brand. Okay, now we are going to be looking at a framework or reason kya hai. Hum ye dekhna chaate hai ke global brands ke andar faide kya hai or local brands ke andar uske hawale se kya situations create hoti hai. हमें मालूम है कि जो रिसर्च की गई है उसमें यह पता चला कि ग्लोबल ब्रांड्स में यह तीन कैटेगरीज एस्टैब्लिश की गई हैं नंबर 1 इट इज कंसीडर्ड टू बी कि उनकी क्वालिटी हमेशा अच्छी होगी वजह क्योंकि वो दुनिया के हर मुल्क में मिलता है तो लॉजिक कहता है कि उसकी क्वालिटी उस स्टैंडर्ड की होगी कि हर मुल्क में उसको सेटिस्फैक्शन या उसको क्या नाम है इट इज गिवन द प्रॉपर रिसेप्शन on terms of its technology. Number two, global myth, which we call global brand, that when we use this brand, this global brand will become an ideal brand. So, the frame of the global brand is also the ideal brand. So, the frame of the global brand is also the ideal brand. So, the frame of the global brand is also the ideal brand. So, the frame of the global brand is also the ideal brand. So, the frame of the global brand is also the ideal brand. Finally, it is assumed, and I'm talking about these are all perceptions. Huh? It doesn't mean that these are the true pictures. But we perceive that the global brand owners have a high social responsibility ka jo concept. Now, because I'm adding a new concept to your uh, word terminology, this word comes from corporate social responsible behavior. Companies normally law ke under rehte hue kaam karti hai. Lekin hum ye bhi assume that in any country, if there is a problem or an issue created, 
اس کمپنی کے اس ملک میں جانے سے تو اس کمپنی کی یہ رسپانسبلٹی بنتی ہے لیگل نہیں ہے لیکن یہ ان کی مورل اور ایتھیکل رسپانسبلٹی ہے کہ وہ اس ایشو کو کنٹرول کریں اور اس کے پرابلم کو ریڈیوس کرنے کی کوشش کریں تو سو انٹرنیشنل برانڈز میں یہ ایک لاجک کریٹ ہو گئی ہے کہ پیپل ازیوم دیٹ دے آر ویری سوشلی رسپانسبل کائنڈ آف برانڈس نائکی جو برانڈ تھا وہ ایک کیس ان پوائنٹ ہے اینڈ ایف یو ڈو ناٹ نو اباؤٹ واٹ ہیپن ان پاکستان اباؤٹ دیم سو آئی شیئر اٹ ود یو نائکی اپنے فٹ بالس اور اپنے جو جو اتھلیٹک چیزیں ہیں وہ بنوایا کرتے تھے سیال کوٹ میں لیکن سیال کوٹ میں جو لوگ ان کے بنانے میں ہیلپ کر رہے تھے دے وار بیسیکلی چلڈرن سو ایک ایشو لوگوں میں یہ تاثر تھا کہ نائکی ایکسپلائٹ کرتا ہے چائلڈ لیبر کو نمبر ٹو ان کنٹریز لائک تائیوان ان انڈیا اینڈ انکلوڈنگ بنگلہ دیش اینڈ پاکستان یہ ازمشن تھا کہ یہ چونکہ پیسے بنانے کے چکروں میں ہیں تو ان کا جو لیبر کو جس طرح یہ ڈیل کرتے ہیں وہ بہت ہی نگیٹو ہے یعنی کہ ہم وہ ورڈ استعمال کرتے ہیں سویٹ شاپس سویٹ شاپس کا جو کانسیپٹ ہے یہ پرانے انگلینڈ سے نکلا ہوا ہے جب شروع شروع میں انڈسٹریلائزیشن ہوئی تھی تو لوگ پیسہ بنانے کے چکروں میں لوگوں کو ایک چھوٹے چھوٹے کمروں میں بٹھا کے ان سے صبح شام رات بھر کام کراتے تھے کنڈیشنز ور ویری ویری بیڈ اور مقصد صرف یہ تھا کہ لیبر کو پیسہ کم سے کم دیا جائے پروفٹ زیادہ سے زیادہ لیا جائے اس چیز کو رکھتے ہوئے آپ لوگوں کو شاید پتہ نہ ہو لیکن امریکہ میں دو تین یونیورسٹیز کے جو اسٹوڈنٹس ہیں جب ان کو یہ پتہ چلا بیکاز دے یوز ٹو بی ٹریولنگ اراؤنڈ کہ نائکی اپنے کپڑے اور اپنے اسپورٹس کے شوز اور اپنے فٹ بالس وغیرہ یہ یا بچوں سے یا سویٹ شاپس میں بناتے ہیں تو دے بائی کاٹیڈ دی دی پروڈکٹس آف نائکی اس پریشر میں آ کے نائکی ہیڈ ٹو برنگ اے ٹریمنڈس اماؤنٹ آف چینج ان دیئر کارپوریٹ اسٹریٹجی اور سیال کوٹ میں انہوں نے ساگا اسپورٹس کے ساتھ مل کے ماڈل مینوفیکچرنگ یونٹس قائم کیے اب آپ غور کریں کہ انہوں نے اپنے بہیویئر کو کیسے چینج نو نتھنگ واز چینج انہوں نے صرف پیرنٹس کو ان ان مینوفیکچرنگ پلانٹس میں جابس دیے ناؤ دا پیرنٹس وار ایکچولی ڈوئنگ دا جابس ویئر ایز ان کے جو بچے پہلے کام کرتے تھے ان کے لیے انہی سسٹمز میں انہوں نے اسکولس کھول دیے اور بچے پڑھتے تھے اور ان کے پیرنٹس کام کرتے تھے سو دے کریٹڈ دس فریم ورک بٹ ریمبر اٹ واز ناٹ ڈن تھرو لیگل پوائنٹس اٹ واز ڈن تھرو سوشل رسپانسبل پریشر دیٹ واز کریٹڈ بائی دا ویسٹرن ورلڈ ناؤ کیپنگ دس ان مائنڈ اٹ از ازیوم دیر فور دیٹ بیکاز آف دس انٹرنیشنل ریکگنیشن آف دا ایشوز دیز کمپنیز آر مور کارپوریٹ سوشلی رسپانسبل اس حوالے سے لیٹس می کوٹ یو این ایگزامپل آف ریسرچ وچ واز ڈن اکراس ٹویلو کنٹریز اینڈ تھنک اباؤٹ اٹ بارہ کنٹریز میں جو انفارمیشن جنریٹ کی گئی وہ تقریباً ایک ہی تھی اور وہ کیا تھی کہ دی گلوبل برانڈس ور ازیوم ٹو ہیو کوالٹی لائک آئی سیٹ دے ور کنسیڈر ٹو بی آئیڈیل کائنڈ آف پروڈکٹس اینڈ دے ور کنسیڈر ٹو ہیو مور ٹینڈنسی ٹوورڈ سوشل رسپانسبل بہیویئر اب یہ بات اپنی جگہ پر تھی لیکن ود ان دا کنٹریز اٹ واز آلسو فاؤنڈ دیٹ دیر ور فور میجر کلسٹرز وچ مینس فور سیگمنٹس ور دیر جو ان تینوں ایشوز کے اوپر ان کے اپنے اوپینینس تھے اگر آپ دیکھیں تو اٹس یون یور اسکرین کہ دے ور ون گروپ واز کالڈ دا گلوبل سٹیزنس نا گلوبل سٹیزنس نارملی کانسٹیٹیوٹیڈ ایٹ این ایوریج آف اباؤٹ ففٹی تھری پرسینٹ پاپولیشن ہو ور سروے اور ان کے حوالے سے یہ تینوں جو چیزیں ہیں وہ وہ مانتے تھے یعنی کہ وہ تو اس کا مطلب یہ بھی ہوا کہ دے وڈ پریفر ٹو بائی گلوبل برانڈس اور دس از اے ویری سگنیفیکنٹ انفارمیشن سو دیٹ وی کین نو کہ کنٹریز کے اندر گلوبلائزیشن کا ٹینڈنسی کتنی جا رہی ہے سیکنڈ گروپ جو تھا وہ ہیں گلوبل ڈریمرز نا ان کے اندر ایک چیز تو ان کے ذہن میں تھی مور اور لیس کہ دے آر کوالٹی کانشیس بٹ دے ڈڈ ناٹ بلیو آن دا کانسیپٹ آف سوشل رسپانسبل بہیویئر یہ ایک اور چیز جو ہے اٹس ویری انٹرسٹنگ اگین لاجک کیا کہتا ہے کہ مور اور لیس پیپل 
do not understand what is corporate social responsible behavior uh, and maybe they are not even concerned about the issues that confront the world for example environmentalism hai uh, the damage to the ozone the depletion of our natural resources so and so forth they most probably don't even uh, know about these issues therefore they do not care they do not have a problem but they do believe that global brands are quality uh, uh, kind of products the third group is anti globals now anti globals are people who do believe that the product is quality but they reject the concept of ke ye ideal hai maine kaha tha ke teen cheezein jo global myth mein hai ke this uh, brand being uh, the ideal brand so people tend to look at up from that angle aur iske andar ye cheez change hoti rehti hai ye jo ye jo concept hai uski wajah ye hai ke aajkal ke zamane mein because of issues in the west and the east particularly the muslim world and the western world to people will try and reject the logic कि ये जो है ये ब्रांड चूंकि अमेरिका से आया है या यूके से आया है एंड दे आर हैविंग दिस वॉर गोइंग ऑन एंड दे आर फाइटिंग दी अरब एंड सो एंड सो फोर्थ तो वो जो आइडियल का कॉन्सेप्ट है वो रिजेक्ट किया जाता है एंड एंटी ग्लोबल पीपल थे रिजेक्ट द कॉन्सेप्ट के जो चीज भी किसी डेवलप्ड uh, कंट्री से निकले तो वो जरूरी नहीं है कि वो uh, एक किस्म का आइडियल हो द फाइनल ग्रुप इज ग्लोबल एग्नोस्टिक्स ग्लोबल एग्नोस्टिक्स आर दो पीपल हु टोटली रिजेक्ट एंड डोंट केयर about the global brands or the local brands so they treat everything in the same frame these four categories of clusters uh, which was studied across all 12 countries jaise maine kaha ke jo countries that is inter country jo uh, logic thi wo to saron ki average ya mean values jo thi wo taqriban barabar thi lekin ye jo maine char clusters ki baat ki hai ye intra country hai which means they belong to within the country and this behavior came out of or this this uh, uh, the approach or the consumer thinking process comes from within the country situation now uh, having talked about the two extremes like right, global and local let's look at the combining the two frames where we try to say that there have to be global strategies but the execution of those strategies have to be undertaken in the local conditions and keeping in mind the local frameworks uh this is what we might call the adaptive approach where we try and adapt uh, a global thought process or a global theme in terms of the local contents uh is pe bade interesting ek mai logic hai kyunki mukhtalif country ke log mukhtalif tarah se मीडिया या कम्युनिकेशन को देखते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल हमने जब बातें की थी रिलेटेड टू द मीडिया और द मैसेज व्हेन वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट द इंपैक्ट ऑफ मीडिया एंड मैसेज ऑन अ कंज्यूमर बिहेवियर सो वी वर वेरी पर्टिकुलर अबाउट सजेस्टिंग दैट देयर आर सम पीपल हु वुड लाइक टू गेट मोर प्रोडक्ट इंफॉर्मेशन रादर देन लुक एट दी एस्थेटिक्स ऑफ एट और लुकिंग एट द मॉडल और लुकिंग एट द बैकग्राउंड नाउ दिस सेम पिक्चर इज वेरी ट्रू across nations uh is this assumed or has been uh, researched that americans like to be more uh, concerned with the product attribute so if somebody wants to promote i mean let's say if a pakistani wants to go and sell a product in the american market he would most probably be aware or should be aware that he has to go give more product specific information to convince the market there because there the comparative uh, areas are very high they tend to read a lot of information compare uh, the attributes and characteristics before make a choice and the reason basically is because they are more involved in the purchase process on the other side of the picture if we went to taiwan for example it may be more relevant to look at the aesthetics of the situation that means model kaisa hai color kya hai उसके अंदर जो मैसेज का जो थीम है वो क्या है बैकग्राउंड क्या बोलता है तो दीज टू और थ्री थिंग्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट और उसके अंदर से भी वजह क्या है कि एक मुल्क या कौम ज्यादा इमोशनल हो या ज्यादा लॉजिकल और एट्रीब्यूट ओरिएंटेड हो तो फिर हमें ये फर्क डालना पड़ेगा स्पेनिश फॉर एग्जाम्पल आर कंसिडर टू बी मोर इमोशनल इन नेचर सो अगर इमोशनल होंगे तो वहां स्थेटिक इश्यूज जो हैं वो प्री करते हैं 
और फिर वहाँ एफिलिएशन या लॉजिकली आप रिलेशनशिप्स को प्रमोट करने की कोशिश करते हैं जहाँ मुल्क ज़्यादा इंडिविजुअलिस्टिक कहलाते हैं वहाँ इस किस्म की प्रमोशन वुड नॉट फिट इस छोटा सा एक एग्जांपल है आई विल नॉट नेम द प्रोडक्ट बट पाकिस्तान में भी कॉफ़ी uh, के एक ब्रांड को इंडिविजुअलिस्टिक तौर पे पेश करने की कोशिश की गई और माय ऑब्जर्वेशन इज कि वो जो क्या नाम है प्रमोशनल कंपेन थी वो इतनी सक्सेसफुल नहीं थी उसकी वजह ये है कि पाकिस्तान में द लॉजिक ऑफ हैविंग टी और कॉफ़ी और एनी एनी ड्रिंक इज मोर सोशली ओरिएंटेड जबकि एड में दिखाया जा रहा था कि द पर्सन इज़ अ लोन एंड सिटिंग ऑन अ मे बी अ विंडो सेल एंड हैविंग द कप ऑफ कॉफ़ी सो दैट डिड नॉट वर्क टू मच बिकॉज इट डज नॉट फिट इन सो कई मुल्क आर मोर रिलेशनशिप ओरिएंटेड सो दे नीड टू बी ब्रॉड और द मैसेज हैज़ टू कन्वे दैट काइंड ऑफ अ थिंग नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इन दिस होल कम्बाइनिंग द टू फ्रेम्स इज वी शुड बी अवेयर के एक्सपोजर जो एड्स को होता है वो कितना होता है अदरवाइज वी विल बी मेकिंग अ मिस्टेक फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन पाकिस्तान हाउ मेनी पीपल रीड अ न्यूज पेपर एज कम्पेयर टू हाउ मेनी पीपल लुक एट द एड ऑन अ टेलीविजन इफ वी आर नॉट अवेयर ऑफ इट एज कम्पेयर टू लेट से कंट्री लाइक अमेरिका और यू के और जर्मनी वहाँ कितने लोग अखबार पे एड देखते हैं और पाकिस्तान में कितने लोग टेलीविजन पे एड देखते हैं या अखबार में एड देखते हैं दीज बिकम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंसिड्रेशन फाइनली विद इन दिस टू कॉन्फिग्रेशन वी नीड टू नो कि कौन से एरियाज को अडेप्ट किया जाए uh, मिसाल के तौर पे जैसे हमने कहा ग्लोबल स्ट्रेटजी तो है थीम भी ग्लोबल है लेकिन उसको लोकलाइज कैसे किया जाए तो उसके लिए चंद फ्रेमवर्क हैं और वो अगर आप देखें ऑन द स्क्रीन दे आर नंबर वन लोकल लैंग्वेज सो पहला चीज जो की जाती है लोकलाइजेशन या उसके अंदर एक किस्म का लोकल टेस्ट देने को वो उसको लोकल लैंग्वेज में ले आए नंबर टू लोकलाइज द प्रोडक्ट और लोकलाइज द प्रोडक्ट जैसे मैंने अभी एग्जांपल्स दी कि आप उसको रिलेशनशिप्स के थ्रू लाना चाहते हैं या इंडिविजुअलिस्टिक उसको फ्रेम देना चाहते हैं इसके मदद से वो प्रोडक्ट लोकलाइज हो जाता है आपने देखा होगा कई जगह पे एड्स हैं जहाँ टेलीविजन देखने में तो फोल फैमिली इज ट्राइंग टू जज कि टेलीविजन कहाँ लगना है और कहीं सिर्फ एक शख्स अपने ही फैमिली रूम में या अपने ही ड्राइंग रूम के अंदर उसकी लोकेशन डिटरमिन करता है और वो एड में भी दिखाया जाता है तो दीज टू मेजर प्रॉब्लम्स आर क्रिटिकल और उसके जो एट्रीब्यूट्स हैं फैमिली गैदरिंग के हवाले से हैं या इंडिविजुअलिस्टिक लॉजिक में है वो दो दूसरी चीज है उसको हैंडल किया जाता है तीसरा है इन आई एम टेलिंग यू दीज थिंग्स आर इन प्रायोरिटी फ्रॉम बेक सो लैंग्वेज इज वन लोकलाइजिंग द प्रोडक्ट एट्रीब्यूट नंबर टू थर्ड इज मॉडल्स मॉडल्स को अगर आप लोकल कर दें तो उसका काफी इम्पैक्ट और उसकी जो रेफरेंस पॉइंट है वो लोकलाइज हो जाता है फोर्थ इज कलर्स ऑफ द एड मिसाल के तौर पे अगर आप कभी वेबसाइट्स पे जाएं तो गूगल इज वन अगर आप याहू पे जाएं तो वो भी ऐसे हैं दीज वेबसाइट्स आर नाउ अवेलेबल इन वेरियस लैंग्वेजेस और अगर आप उनके जो वेब पेज का जो ओपनिंग सिस्टम है अगर आप उसको गौर से देखें तो वो हर कंट्री के अपने रिलेशनशिप से अपनी जो उनकी हेरिटेज है या उनकी जो नेशनल आइडेंटिटी है उससे लॉजिकली लिंक्ड है uh, मिसाल के तौर पे अगर आप जर्मनी में जाएं तो वहाँ कलर्स नॉर्मली ब्लैक येलो ये जो उनके जो कलर्स हैं वो ज़्यादा प्रोमिनंट हो जाएंगे uh, इसी तरह से अगर आप चाइना में जाएँ तो वहाँ उनकी जो अपनी लैंग्वेज के या करेक्टर्स जो उनके चलते हैं लैंग्वेज के अंदर उनको ज़्यादा प्रोमिनेंस दी जाती है फिर द नेक्स्ट वन इज ह्यूमर कई मुल्क मिसाल के तौर पे ह्यूमर में नॉट बी द रेलेवेंट वे ऑफ अप्रोचिंग द जैपनीज मार्केट बट इट मे बी वेरी रेलेवेंट टू अप्रोच दिस द प्रोडक्ट और वे इट इज प्रेजेंटेड इन द पाकिस्तानी मार्केट बिकॉज हमारे मुल्क में uh, एक कॉमेडी जो है वो बहुत मुख्तलिफ किस्म की कॉमेडी है यू के में हो सकता है ह्यूमर का जो कॉन्सेप्ट है वो टोटली totally डिफरेंट है और पाकिस्तान में जिसको हम बोलते हैं स्लैप स्टिक अगर मैं उसका उर्दू तर्जमा करूं तो जो भांड करते हैं वो उसकी फ्रेमवर्क बन जाता है बट ये इन दोनों में बहुत फर्क है सो वी नीड टू बी वेरी केयरफुल 
when we are using this. The second loss, therefore, is the scenic background that people have. They can put different kind of heritage frameworks. Uh, Pakistan, whenever we look at it, we will find the Lahore Fort as the background. So that becomes another very important category of uh, uh, developing or localizing the frame. Finally, it is the music. And that is obviously not the least, but a very important framework. When you change the music and you bring it the local content, you normally tend to be able to give it a localized trend, uh, uh, taste. At this point, I think I will stop here because the next are very important. Um, the next session will be very important. We will be talking about various strategies that we try and incorporate with all this knowledge. And we will tend to have uh, a number of frameworks in which we can develop strategies and we have some grids to show so that we can have a very clear picture of how a multinational can apply these in its own strategy building. Uh, finally, quickly we go over whatever we had been discussing up till now in the cultural uh, cross-cultural framework. We had discussed the importance of course cultural frame or analysis, making sure that we do not make a mistake of assuming that something that we have been successful with will also be successful in another country. And the reason is very simple because like in a country itself, we find a lot of subcultures that when we extend it over uh, international boundaries, we'll find the cultures will be different. But debate has been going on whether we should have a globalized brand or a local brand or a combination or should we adopt a global brand to the local conditions in terms of its uh, implementation strategies? Keeping these two things in mind, we have been discussing what are the contents or what the logic of using a global brand, because we said global brands do give a message. Uh, we also talked about the various segments that are available within the country, and therefore anybody who's coming from outside and trying to launch a product in a country, whether Pakistanis are going to America or Americans are coming to Pakistan or the Western world is coming here, whatever they do, they need to have a clear cut picture of what kind of people would they be finding within a society. And that would lead us to do further research. But like I said, there are a lot of problems in carrying out research, depending on the type of data that we require, what kind of data is currently available, are there people who are capable of doing this kind of research? And I gave you an example that at this point of time, syndicate research is available in the country in the shape of AC Nielsen. And there are a number of companies which are moving in the country to carry out this research, including Pricewaterhouse and so on and so forth. But still, there are issues because even though we have broader pictures, we need to still have a very clear idea about the consumers because our messages, the way we will create the image, the way we will put it in a particular media, all relate to the way we will succeed or fail with a product. So with this, I uh, will end this lecture and then we will pick it up in the next session. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.